Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and as well Sagittarius Rising. A weekly tarot reading November 4th to November 10th, 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump right into it. All right, so the first card, which stands for the topic of a Sagittarius uh, week, this is going to be the uh, Temperance card, followed by the next one, which represents the challenges that uh, you guys have to overcome here. We do have the Queen of Wands. Then the positive aspect of the week, that is going to be the Nine of Swords. And the last one uh, is going to be the guidance that Taro is offering to you, Sagittarius. This is going to be uh, the uh, Tree of Wands. All right, so um, the Temperance is going to be catalyzed in this regard here with the Magician card. We do have an, an active friends. Uh, this is a, a very... I would say explosive kind of a, a combination. Uh, why? First of all, it looks like that you will have a lot of things to attend to throughout the week. Many, many tasks, chores, most of them. And uh, that being said, uh, some people, and especially this one here, which is the king of uh, wands, but we're going to go there in a minute, is not going to believe that you're actually going to be able to make it. But guess what? It seems that you're going to surprise everybody. So you, uh, that is the whole point in this week. You are going to surprise pleasantly or unpleasantly, that is, because obviously, you know, people who does want you to fail are going to be unpleasantly surprised. But those who uh, kind of doubted that you will be able to manage it, all right, but they want you to see prevailing, they will be pleasantly surprised. And it looks like that... <clears throat> This enormous, um, should I classify it as a breakthrough or rather like a, um, I, I will say flawless performance in regards to your task, uh, tasks, excuse me, either career wise, relationship wise, or I do believe that we will have mixed both of them. So you will be able to manage your time very well, right? You, are, you will be able to attend to your career and relationship simultaneously without uh, actually showing that one is more important than the other and so on and so forth. That is going to win you a, a lot, a lot of followers. Additionally to that, people will start placing great, great hopes at you, seeing you as a... Uh, somewhat leader seeing you as a somewhat who can make things to work uh, it's a very good time 
uh, to prove yourself being you know worthy or capable for a promotion raise and so on and so forth but as well it looks like that you will be able to convince this is going to be your strongest tool throughout the week um, you will be able to negotiate your way through so once again a perfect week for you to ask for a raise perfect week for you to try to attack a, a place of a, a promotion and um, you know generally to attack a greater height but uh, those greater heights can only be attacked through you showing yourself capable to attend to all kinds of chores varieties of chores and varieties of tasks as well uh, additionally to that, uh, it looks like as well that the week is going to be saturated with a lot of compassion, a lot of solidarity, a lot of a, a mutual understanding as well. And uh, it is also a, a very, very good time for you Sagittarius to settle certain a disagreements. Now, the next card, which is the uh, negative aspect of the week, that is going to be the Queen of Wands. And that is accompanied with the world card. So uh, we do have an, an active neutrals in this particular case. And what these two cards are pointing, it is a, a person who simply cannot finish a, a particular um, particular task. Why they they can finish it, all right? But it is just they can they cannot finish it the way they want to finish it. And uh, the only challenge here that this person it's um, it's opposing to you it's that they are freaking out. All right, they they kind of become scattered. They kind of become fr frantic in regards to performance. So uh, that could be, for example, you know your um, your suitor or your partner that uh, simply cannot finish something that resides outside of your relationship, but they are frantic into the relationship and you. You will need to kind of overcome this challenge by using your communicational skills to sort the things out, to ease your wavering, ease their wavering, and so on and so forth. Now, on another note, with these two cards, it does look like that uh, this Queen of Wands type of person have something in mind about you in a positive way, but they, but this, but she does not see that you do uh that you are quite there yet right that you are fully capable and um, as a challenge this week it is where you prove yourself to be fully capable for whatever that queen have in mind in you most likely career oriented you know maybe your boss have something in mind for you some sort of a place that sits higher than yours and etc etc and you simply need to prove yourself capable to tackle with as much chores as you can and uh, the next card it, it is uh, in regards to the positive aspect that is going to be the uh, nine of swords with the ten of wands so we do have a uh, active friends in this particular position and what these two cards are really pointing it is that you are going to understand the level, the full level of a responsibilities that have been granted to you. You are going, you are as well are going to understand the fullness of how the machine works. I mean, the machine of your of the job that you are doing, the machine of your relationship as well. Okay, so you are going to have a, a profound understanding of how things are expected to work and how things are working right now. And uh, that will help you to face those chores that I was talking about, realizing that without them, things simply cannot happen as well. Uh, understanding the consequences if you don't attend to those chores as well. And uh, on a positive aspect, it looks like that some of those tasks that you will have to tackle with, you may kind of be a bit afraid to go for at least at the start of the week for one or another reason maybe you're not feeling confident you know maybe you're not feeling prepared enough to go for them but once you start dealing uh, or kind of like tackling with those uh, tasks or with those chores you are to see that that was just a celluloid uh, celluloid fears fears that have no soil whatsoever and you're gonna quickly gonna start 
getting the hang of it and by that it seems that also there are options for a, a very awesome opportunities to be open for you for you to take advantage of moving forward into the future and uh, the last card here it regards to the guidance that Tarot is offering that is going to be the uh, tree of wands and it is accompanied here by the page of pentacles so we do have an active neutrals uh, in this particular position and uh, they are tightly related to the topic itself. At the topic we do had the uh, temperance with the magician and here these two cards are pointing that once you do your chores, once you sort out your tasks, once you clear the disagreements, you are to find yourself sitting on a quite a good solid foundation. A foundation that it, it is quite secured, okay? And uh, you have a choice to make at that point. Should you stay on that place or should you challenge yourself further? That depends entirely on you. So what I do suspect here, it is that especially if we're talking about career, it is that a place or a project will be offered to you, um, not this week, you know, but it will be based on your performance throughout this week. Maybe it could be as well offered to you that week, uh, this same week, but um, you get to choose, do you want to uh, go for it or should you stay on a secure place? Now, as these two cards here are pointing, it is that you are to feel a bit uh, underprepared for the project or for the place that is offered to you, for the suitor that is approaching you and so on and so forth. But um, once again, without challenges, there will be no improvement. This is how you improve. This is how you, um, you know, grow from now on in this field that this reading manifests in. For you Sagittarius. So a little bit more courage guys, a little bit more self-belief, a little bit more clamor that uh, you can uh, actually get the hang of it uh, once you start performing will get you a, a long long way. So that being said Sagittarius, this was your weekly tarot reading November 4th to November 10th 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye!